Hi, and welcome to Tiger Art. Today, we will be finishing the Kuna Mola paper craft. We learned about the Kuna Indians and how they live in countries that are today known as Panama and Colombia, and we learned about their tradition of making molas. A mola is usually made of fabric, and it's very finely detailed and hand-sewn, pieces of fabric that make patterns and bright colors against a black background. For today, we're going to be finishing with everything outside the animal. So I told you last time, stay on the inside of the animal and the outline only. Now that we're working on the outside, I thought it would be a good idea to take a, a look at a few examples of how artists have chosen to do the background. So start with this one. The background here is very simply split up into different shapes, but those shapes are not actually outlined. So it's just kind of hinting at a rectangle shape by putting several lines together. So we might see a spot where there's like four yellow lines going vertically. And then underneath it, there could be green lines going vertically. So all vertical lines here in the background, no lines around it. That's one way you could do it. This one is one that I really like. I really like the way the background is in this. I like the way the artist did it. They have everything split up into kind of a grid of rectangles and squares, and each one is a different color. Then there's a line around that shape with that same color, and then vertical lines inside. Now I've seen several molas in real life, and every one that I've seen actually has this type of background, and they all looked very nice, so you could choose to do that. This one has vertical lines again, but they're kind of arranged into several rows. So each row is a row of vertical lines. They're skinny and they're spaced pretty close together. In this example, the artist has chosen to make like a, it's like a zigzag, not really, but it's like a boxy zigzag line inside of a shape. So you split it off into a shape and then you kind of connect the ends of your lines. So that's one way to do it too. You can notice multiple outlines on those background shapes, just like the animal itself helps them stand out better and really makes this look quite cool. This artist has chosen to do something similar to that, but with all one color in the background, and that is okay too. So you may choose to do many colors in the background, you may choose to do just two colors that alternate, or three colors that alternate, or you may choose to do it you know, any way you want. If you have a different idea, I'm sure it will look great too. And one more fun example. Look at what the artist has done in the background here. Some smaller details. I know I told you not to do that, but it does look cool. So if you want to cut the pieces of paper a bit smaller and do something fun in the background, I'm all about it. That would look cool. All right, today is the last day for the MOLA. So if you're a bit behind, that's totally okay. Um, but you should have the background left to do today. I know that's not much space, but you should think about um, why am I giving you so much time to do that. The reason is because I want you to um, review what we've done and I want you to think about how you want to do the background before you actually go at it. So one thing I would suggest would be, uh, do you want another outline? You may not. Uh, you may think that two outlines is fine, but you know what would happen if I went around this with another outline in blue. You know, would that be cool? Would that be worth doing? What does that look like? Uh, it does look pretty cool, so I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, so once that's all pushed down and on there good, now I can add some more. So I don't think I wanna do the same color that I just did, cause that's technically an outline and I don't have too many colors left. So I could either reuse a color or, well yeah, I could either reuse a color or I could get some more paper. I think I'm going to get some more paper. I'm going to use yellow because I think that would really make this stand out good. 
So I happen to have a scrap piece of yellow paper here. I'm just going to grab that. So once again, we want to have a plan. We don't want to just go at this and start randomly dropping pieces in. So my plan is going to be to have all of these going horizontal. Now you could do kind of like I did here, where you alternate, but I think I'm just gonna do it this way. Um, could you use two colors in a pattern out here? Do you think that would look good? I do, absolutely, I think that would look awesome. That's just not what I chose to do here. All right, my MOLA is done. When you're all done, you have a nice MOLA, bright colored black background on paper. You can take a picture of this and submit. I hope you have fun.